If you haven't done so yet, please pause the video and try to solve the question on your own before moving on. We'll go ahead and, and draw a picture that captures the information that's being presented. So in the initial scenario, we have two charges of equal magnitude in charge that are being held a certain distance R1 apart. The one charge is released and so it goes flying off to the left and ends up a distance R2 from the other charge which remains fixed. We need to consider the energies that are present in the initial situation and also in the final situation. Now initially because this charge here is being held there's no kinetic energy the only energy present is the electrical potential energy which we know follows this equation. We have K multiplied by the two charges divided by the distance between them. We can actually simplify this and make Q times Q equal Q squared. In the final scenario, we once again have the electrical potential energy, but since this charge on the left is also moving, we have kinetic energy. Now through the conservation of energy, we can take the total initial energy and set it equal to the total final energy. We put the final energies on the left side and the initial energy on the right side because our goal is to solve for the speed, V. And so the first thing we can do is multiply each of the three terms by two. We'll then subtract this term over to the right side of the equation. We could then divide each term by the mass, M, and then finally take the square root of both sides. The two terms underneath the square root can be simplified by factoring out a 2kq squared over N since both terms contain that factor. We're now ready to plug in all the known values. Just note, of course, that the charge has to be multiplied by 10 to the minus 6 to put it into coulombs. The mass needs to multiply by 10 to the minus 6 as well to put it into kilograms. And then the distances will be multiplied by 10 to the minus 3 to put them into meters. And when you carefully plug that into your calculator and simplify that, you should get a speed of approximately 2.5 times 10 to the positive 3 meters per second. And that is indeed the correct answer. Thanks for taking the time to watch the video. If you liked it, please click the thumbs up icon and also subscribe to the channel so you can stay tuned for additional videos. You're welcome to send in your own question to the email address on the screen and I'll do my best to post a solution to it on YouTube.